Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to see if I can find a mine at it that I found using LiDAR. So if you're wondering what LiDAR is, let me explain and I'll show you how I found this possible at it. Now if you don't know what LiDAR is, it's basically a type of technology where they use satellites and some kind of light technology. I don't really understand it myself, but what it does is it penetrates through all the vegetation providing a high definition detail of the terrain. So instead of just looking at satellite images, this technology will remove all the vegetation and all the trees so you can see all the individual changes in the terrain, sometimes down to, I think, below meters in detail. All right, so here we are in the LiDAR view of where I'm going to be at, looking for mining activity. So this is a mine area that I have been to before that I found a couple years back. You can see right there that little hole where my mouse button is and the tailing pile so that's evidence of mining activity here seen in lidar there's also another hole it looks like nearby that i did not see so it seems that there are two possible edit sources and then obviously you can see the logging road here as well and all the logging activity if we come over here though you can see there appears to be another edit possibly two. You've got these two dark holes, and it seems that there's a tailing pile at the base of one of these holes. So that is where I'm going to be going today, and we're going to see if it is indeed a mining adit. Now, like I've said, I've been up here before. So we have sulfides, iron pyrite, galena, and uh, I believe a, a copper pyrite too. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was like, uh, I think another nickname for it is peacock ore. As you can see, we got the piece of quartz here. We have a lot of void space where probably a lot of those sulfides were eroded out, oxidized down to the rock. There's also a little bit of crystals here and there. And there are little zones where you can find some quartz crystals up here. As I'm going up here, almost every rock and boulder is just pure quartz. That's quartz, all right. See? Another one there. A gold hunk of quartz and I'm gonna be pretty certain the next boulder right up here is more quartz I'll tell you what the bugs are pretty bad out here today yep more quartz somewhere in the vicinity I've been to it before it's a big old thick quartz vein out there I figure we could pit stop here and check out the sedimentary rock here so most of the mountains where I'm at right now, and I apologize for the wind noise if you can hear that, these are sedimentary hosted mountains, so sedimentary rock. Uh, to be to be more specific, metasedimentary, so they're slightly metamorphosed. It's interesting, there's like a little pocket, do you see that? Huh. Weird. Also nearby, which I haven't seen on this side of the mountain, because I believe it's on the other side, we have some diorite intrusions, some sills, and I believe small, like, plutonic intrusions of diorite. So, some igneous activity here, which might be why we have the quartz veining, which is pr helping to provide some of that hydrothermal fluid or vein fluid that help deposit these. And then to make the fractures, we do have some normal faults in the area. So some faulting action seems to help make some of these deposits. All right, so I made it up to this old roadway. And here, I believe we have the source of the quartz veins. I believe this is the vein right here. Possibly, unless they're just boulders buried underneath all this dirt. So this is roughly the direction I need to go, and luckily enough, there's a path for the most part. That's a good sign. All right, I should be getting close to where this thing should be at. It's hard to check because one, I have no service. I download maps and pictures, but I'm still having to go off of what I think is on the map based off of what I'm seeing out here and trying to figure out where roughly I'm at. Well, I'm not sure if this is the same one I was on earlier or if this is a different little path that cuts through the woods. I'll show you this right here. There's a quartz vein, but it's druzy or little tiny crystals. See that? It's pretty cool. You can see there's a crystal face right there. Man, those mosquitoes are just 
having a payday on my arms right now. <laughs> Got all a bunch of little crystals right there. That's kind of cool. Nothing I'm going to take though. So I believe I'm roughly where I need to be. There's a lot of roadways, I'll call them, or paths, and I think they're from logging. But I think I'm on to something now. Right here looked like a pile of something. And underneath all this brush, I don't know if you can see that, but there's an obvious trench that's been dug here. So that's a sign of some kind of human activity. Let's see if I can squeeze through all this. So we for sure got ourselves a hole here in a trench and a pile of stuff. So I'm hoping this isn't what I spotted. I don't think it is just because of how small it is, but it could be. one big chunk of quartz. This is all just solid quartz right here. So I'm standing up here at the top of this mass of quartz. And if you notice, it's been dug out along the entire edges here of this vein. So I think what I'm gonna guess is Long time ago, some prospectors came up here, saw this vein. So they did soil sampling or digging along the entire edge of this quartz vein to see if any gold, I would imagine, that had leached out of the quartz, you know, eroded out of the quartz into the soil. So they could do some soil sampling, see how much gold's in the soil, and see if this vein has anything in it. Right next door to our quartz, is a trench, another trench. Pretty old. I think I see a piece of metal down there too. So this boulder should be visible on LiDAR because it's big enough. So I think I found it on the LiDAR, which means what I think is the portal should just be shortly over here, walking this way. Not too far. No sign of it anywhere. Oh. Should be roughly over here. I'm not seeing any signs of it. Ah. Uh, this has to be it. Okay, so... The thing I found earlier... Looks to be what I thought might have been an edit on LiDAR, but is instead a big prospecting hole. So that's unfortunate. All right, since I'm pretty sure I'm at the spot where I thought the portal is, I'm gonna see if I can get the GPS coordinates on my phone, if I have enough GPS signal. And I can come back, put down the GPS location, and compare it to the LiDAR. Uh, I'd be disappointed if I was really close to it and missed it, but I'm pretty sure this rock that little hole right over there is what I was seeing. So it is not mining adits, it is mining trenches and holes. So sometimes it can be hard to tell on LiDAR. It wasn't a mine adit after all, but I figured I'd show you this other spot that I already knew was here, but it shows up on LiDAR as well. And I've been here before. I also featured this site in a really old video. If you want to check it out, it'll be up in this corner. I was here with Jesse a couple years back. And this spot has changed a little bit. It's pretty overgrown. I think we're here earlier in the spring. Let me get down in this hole. But this is another prospecting hole, trench. You can see we got lots of quartz. I think there's another one nearby. But yeah, this spot is visible on the LiDAR as well. I got this big piece of quartz here. And there's evidence of the sulfides that have come coming out of here. And we also got a little pocket right here. Which I think some small, or attempting to be some crystals. You see that? All oh, those little holes in the quartz, that's where some sulfides had eroded out. So that was probably either galena or pyrite. We got both in these veins because we've collected here before. So looking at the LiDAR, 
This is the smaller hole that we were just at, the bigger one. It's right down there. I remember now, this is more familiar. This is the one we were digging in, a lot bigger. I thought it looked different, the other hole. So let's go in here and take a close look at stuff. Look at that piece right there. Beautiful little quartz crystal, tiny, nice and clean. This is where Jesse was digging out some little quartz crystals, or little pockets. See, that almost looks like one right in there. Oh yeah, look at that. So this part of the vein is producing little quartz crystal pockets. Some tiny ones in there. So I just broke this chunk open with my hammer. As you can see, we got some eroded sulfides there. Where'd it go? Somewhere. Ah, oh, there. Nice, fresh piece of pyrite, if you can see that. Right there. A little bit of pyrite. Already falling apart disintegrating. Right there. I don't know if you can see all the sulfides that are in this rock. Right where my thumb is. So here's the sulfides I was telling you about right there. Some, a lot of it's oxidized pyrite. I believe this darker is galena and whatever else. All right, so that pretty much finishes it up for me here. Unfortunately, it wasn't an edit for us to explore, but to, LiDAR is a good, useful tool for finding prospects in other mines. I'm sure there's some other ones I can find around here, like that one that I found completely by mistake on my own without LiDAR, but looking at it with LiDAR definitely shows it exists. So LiDAR can be a useful tool for finding mines. So before I end the video, let's head on over to the computer and look at more LiDAR stuff. So LiDAR can be used for multiple things. You can use it to look at different geologic formations in the landscape that you normally wouldn't be able to see due to the trees, forest, and vegetation. Because LiDAR will penetrate through all that and allow you to get high definition details of the actual land. So you can see past evidence from glacial activity, evidence of old fluvial and flood events, and other features such as fault lines and ravines, cliffs, and so on. So LiDAR can be a very useful tool for not just geologists, but also people who want to understand the landscapes and maybe find evidence of man-made activities such as mines. Because as you can see in this picture, you can see some roads that have been made by people and some piles of material, like here at the top of this mountain. And theoretically, we should be able to see mining activity. All right, here we are back looking at the LiDAR view where I was at today up on the mountain for this video. And that yellow little pin right there is the GPS measurement I took. And GPS usually is off by a couple of meters. So it's fair to say that I was at the correct location. That hole right there is probably the prospecting pit. And that is probably the debris that they moved over to the side when they dug the trench. And right there is probably that quartz vein that was sticking up. Near the end of the video, this is the pits I was exploring, which are also probably from the same prospectors back in the day. That's where these quartz veins are at. And then of course the other adit that I explored a while back. I'll have a video on that if you want to check it out. It'll be in the upper right hand corner. That almost looks like that could be another prospecting pit or trench right up here. Maybe an it. But this is where LiDAR can be a useful tool for looking for mining activity if you're interested in that sort of thing. If you want to go prospecting or exploring old mines, this is one way to find them. So to show you how useful LiDAR is, this is the LiDAR view. And now I'm going to switch over to just regular Google Earth satellite view. And here's the regular satellite view. As you can see, you cannot even see the holes that were up here where this pin's at. And even those prospecting trenches are difficult to spot. You can kind of see one right here where my mouse is. All right, so that'll conclude today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope I can get to making another one here pretty soon. So you all take care, and have a great day.